Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and if you're new to prepping, this is a very important video for you to hear. What do I mean by new to prepping? Well, I mean people that have started prepping in the last couple of years since that disease started circulating around the world. If you started prepping over the last couple of years, I consider you a new prepper. And this is a huge blind spot that a lot of new preppers have. And, you know, honest to God, it's an issue, I think, with a lot of people who have been prepping for a while. So what is this issue? Well, I'm going to talk about it through the lens of a couple different YouTube channels. One of them being my own. The other one is Canadian Prepper ch uh, Preppers Channel, uh, Full Spectrum Survival, and Survival Living. One of the criticisms that we get here on YouTube as prepping hosts is that a lot of people will consider us, uh, you know, to be mongers of, uh, you know, fear porn. We just have a lot of doom and gloom videos, uh, you know, with titles like, you know, in the next 48 hours, it's all going to fall to pieces. Uh, you know, you know why, why, do, why do you see a lot of that uh, here on YouTube? Well, the reason is that it gets a lot of views. Uh, I know for my own channel, uh, I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. I'll occasionally, once in a blue moon, have some video where I talk about, like, you know, I see this thing going on, and, you know, it looks like it's going in this direction. Uh, last time I did that was for, um, I guess, a situation in Eastern Europe where I, I, a lot of people were saying it was just going to disappear, and I felt like it was probably going to heat up. You know, I think I've been borne out that it has been heating up. At the time prior to that, was when that uh, before that illness started circulating all around the world when everybody was saying it wasn't going to be anything or people just hadn't even heard about it i was talking about it here on on this channel saying this is this is going to be different this is going to impact your lives you know you, you should prepare for this uh so i occasionally do that kind of stuff but i i, I don't do it very often and especially la in the last couple of years i've really moved away from that because i feel like there's other channels that do that perfectly well people can get that information from other places and i've really transitioned my channel to be more one about practical skills and uh you know building this homestead that i'm living on right now uh, a couple of years ago I, I well this was forest i started clearing it built an entire house uh the house is all off grid you know the, the whole town can you know the power grid can go off in town doesn't impact us the power power grid in the whole state can go off, doesn't impact us. The power uh, grid for the entire country could go down and it wouldn't directly impact us. Granted, you got the roving bands of zombies going around, we'll have to deal with those in, you know, one way or the other. The idea of having a uh, homestead, that an off-grid homestead, is kind of the holy grail of prepping, where you really get yourself disconnected from all the bumps in the road that are kind of uh, impacting society. Uh, so, you know, what has that done to my channel? The fact that I'm focusing on this thing that's super useful and super helpful? Well, it's cut my viewership down to about 1 20th of what it used to be prior when I was doing, you know, the occasional uh, or more occasional video about like, you know, I see this problem, I see that, that problem. My channel's really been penalized for focusing more on skills and stuff like that. Other prepping channels that you see here on YouTube, Canadian Preppers Channel, uh, in, in particular, uh, he was talking about something just the other day. I was watching one of his videos where he said he's been wanting to do something about health and fitness. Uh, you know, if you look at the issues here in the Western world, here in North America, especially here in the United States, you know, what is the big survival issue for most people? It's the fact that we're overweight, we're, you know, not very healthy, we don't get enough sleep, we're, people are on all kinds of drugs and everything. You know, a lack of fitness and health uh, is a huge survival issue for a lot of people. And if you're into prepping, the whole idea is increasing your chance of survival and it's a really low hanging fruit the idea of you know improving your health improving your fitness and uh, you know if you're ever in a situation where it was an emergency you're going to need your body to be at full uh full capacity to be able to, you know, do all sorts of things. If you can't, like, you know, hike up a mountain or go sprinting off somewhere or shovel a crap load of snow without worrying about, you know, your knees going out or you're, you know, having a heart attack, you know, you've got a health and fitness problem. And I know some people, uh, you know, come at that from different uh, situations. Some people have, you know, injuries and things like that. And, you know, that's very difficult to deal with. But for most of us here in the Western world, our health and uh, wellness issues are completely self-inflicted and, uh, Canadian Prepper has been wanting to do a, channel, a video on his channel for a while about health and uh, his fitness routine, but he was very open about it that he hasn't jumped on it because there's very, very little interest in that type of thing. Where, where is the interest? Well, his popular videos are the ones where he just kind of talks about the day's news, what he sees coming down the road. Uh, you know, the stuff that people popularly decry YouTube channels for putting out, you know, they, they will talk about it like, you know, they're fear porn channels. But the reality, is that that is the kind of uh, content that people tend to tune into. Another channel, Full Spectrum Survival with Brad and Kelly. I like their channel, I tune into it off, an awful lot. I think it's a useful way of kind of just getting your ear to the ground and find out what's going on. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, uh, Brad and Kelly's channel, Full Spectrum Survival, has really moved away, uh, at least lately, from uh, you know practical stuff. You know, showing what they're doing at their homestead, uh, doing... Uh, 
you know, survival skills and things like that. And he's really moved into just doing, you know, that that kind of doom and gloom. I don't want to call it fear porn stuff. I think that's a way of talking about it in a negative context. And I think it is really useful. Like I said, I, I tune in all the time. But it is fear porn if people only go for that. They go for the fear and then they don't take the next step. Because the value of those kind of videos that... Uh, remind you that the world is, you know, turning into a rough place, is it lights a fire under your butt to get up and, you know, really improve your game, you know, learn your skills, improve your physical uh, health, uh, you, know, you know, work on, uh, you know, prepping the tools that you might need. If you only, uh, if you only look at the fear stuff, and that is the reality, that people tend to just look at the fear stuff, uh, you know, it's kind of a waste of your time, and it's certainly a waste of our time as well. Uh, you know, I, I know for my channel, I don't, you know, I, I don't make very much money on the channel. I play ads in front of uh, each of these videos, but I make like a dollar to a dollar fifty a week, and this video probably takes me about an hour to put together. So, you know, I'm making like a dollar an hour. So I don't do this kind of stuff for myself. I do this stuff because I think that it's important to get these ideas of uh, prepping and preparedness. Uh, out to the world, uh, you know, not just because it helps people, because but because it makes the entire world a better place for myself as well. If all the people in my town are prepped and prepared, and there's an emergency situation, it's hardly an emergency situation at all. If every you're, you know you yourself and everyone around you is ready for it, the problem really arises when there are a lot of people that aren't ready for those situations, and then they kind of impact everyone around them. So it's my mission to try to share this out to the world because I think it makes the world a better place when people are ready for the inevitable bumps in the road. Here's another example. Survival Living's channel, and he does uh, those videos where he'll talk about, you know, these are the issues I see in the world, and, you know, here's my stack of beans and stuff. In fact, I was talking about uh, this with him the other day, and he, and he was saying, you know, man, you know, people just don't care about, uh, you know, the videos that are more practical. They just want to see, like, the, you know, the, the cans of beans and, and hear about, uh, you know, what's going on in the world. And, and again, those kind of videos are useful. I think that they... Um, uh, emphasize the importance of what we're doing here and they light that fire under your butt but if you you skip all of the skills related videos you don't take that next step it really does just become fear porn on survival living's channel I saw recently he did some videos about uh, health and wellness and nutritional supplements and exercise and those videos were about that 1 20th the viewership of his normal videos his usual videos are like six to fifteen thousand views for his videos and these uh, uh, you know, health-related videos, there were like barely 500 views, not even, uh, for a lot of them. And uh, it's a real illustration of a problem that is in the prepping community that is going to end a lot of people that, I think, believe that they're prepped and believe that they're prepared. And the, the problem is, is that people are focusing on that fear element. Uh, you know, they really are using these kind of videos as fear porn. You know, I, I think it's it's all in the, the eye of the beholder. You know, a, a, a firearm, for example, can be a life-saving tool or it can be a tool of, you know, horrifying butchery. It's what you do with it that's important. Uh, and the same is true of, you know, prepping and preparedness and survival videos. If you're just using them to give you kind of a visceral sort of existential uh, thrill, you know, if you're watching, it's like, oh man, things are really terrible and, uh, you know, I, I know about it and, you know, I, I'm ahead of the curve because I'm aware of these things. If you don't take it to the next step, it really is just empty popcorn and candy fear porn. And that's what I want to talk about in this video, uh, because the fact that you guys, you know, not you in particular, but, you know, uh, y'all, YouTube viewers, uh, tend to really focus on those videos. It really pushes people, uh, you know, here in the prepping community to mostly make those kind of videos. You know, for myself, I just, you know, I do what I do and I share this stuff. Uh, with you guys and um, you know, it, it really hasn't impacted what I create as content on my channel. I've just seen the viewership go down. Uh, but uh, you know, a lot of other uh, prepping channels on YouTube uh, are really catering to what you guys want. And what you guys want is honestly not really good for you. It's good to get a little bit ahead of that, uh, you know, to, you know, to know what's going on in the world. And that's important. And to get that fire lit under your butt. But if you don't take it to the next step, uh, you're really doing a disservice to yourself. And YouTube helps you with it. Because if uh, you're subscribed to a channel, and, you know, like my own, and I know that people have told me this, that they were subscribed to my channel. And then once I started doing some videos about doing the homestead, you know, honestly, building a homestead, it's kind of boring a lot of the times. It's like I was talking about how to, how to like, uh, you know, plumb boards and how to, you know, uh, you know, create this sort of structure and how I was uh, doing venting under the floors and things. And while, like I said, it is the holy grail of prepping is to have an off-grid home that is completely separating you from the, the ups and downs of the world around you, even though it's the holy grail, it's boring. Uh, you know, kind of 
well, building it and, and watching someone build it. And I know that a lot of people stopped watching my, they stopped watching a lot of my videos because, uh, you know, most of my videos were about that. And then YouTube stopped serving them any of my videos. Uh, for example, the Alien Invasion series that I had done several years ago was very, very popular. Hundreds of thousands of people, of people watched that series. And I know that thousands and thousands of people subscribed to my channel because of the Alien Invasion series. But then because they weren't watching the videos about, you know, building the homestead and everything, YouTube just stopped giving them notifications uh, about, you know, other things that I was doing on my channel. So YouTube is helping you to hurt yourself when you're skipping over those kind of skill videos. So the next time that you see a video that offers you uh, some kind of a skill, consider watching it. It's not just gonna help you in the short term, but it will help the YouTube algorithm encourage more people to do these types of things, and especially stuff about health and fitness. I know here on my channel, I've done uh, different things on exercise routines, and you know, if ever there was a problem that people in the Western world needed to up their game on, something that could really help with all their preps, with all their survival um, chances, in an SHTF situation, having you know a better sense of, of health and fitness, and uh, you know cardiovascular health and muscular health, and all the rest, uh, it's really the most important thing. But it's so undervalued, and and YouTube is helping you to be to not be exposed to it by the fact that you know you skip a couple of those videos and you just tend to watch the videos that are about like the doom and gloom stuff. YouTube picks up on that, and that's what they keep giving you guys. So that's it. Yeah, next time you see one of those uh, videos, uh, you know, uh, with Canadian Prepper, the, the blue strip videos, you know, with other people, they just kind of mix them in. Uh, you know, the next time you see a video that could potentially teach you a skill or, you know, uh, improve your health or your fitness, you know, check it out and encourage that for different uh, YouTube uh, channel platforms. And then there's going to be more and more of that. And, you know, I think it'll ultimately help everyone because while the doom and gloom videos are important as motivation, they don't really give you anything unless you take it to that, that next level. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I can get, get back to actual practical stuff here. I'm clearing this area to get firewood for next winter, and I'm also uh, clearing it because it's kind of shading my garden. So I'm doing real practical things here. The great thing about doing work at your homestead is, well, I, I'm collecting firewood. In the past uh, uh, couple hours, I've, I've earned uh, about a $150 or so in the past couple of hours uh, cutting my own firewood because I know how much it costs to get firewood ordered and you know I've saved $150 doing that. Uh, if I were to use oil heat in my home I've probably saved way more than $150. I've probably, gosh, I've probably earned you know $500, $600 in the past couple hours just getting my my heat from the wood here in the area and it's also given me a bunch of exercise. You know uh, you can go to the gym and pay money to exercise or you can you know, get out in the country, have your own homestead, and get a lot of physical fitness from you know, helping yourself in many ways. So I'm getting health, I'm getting fitness, I'm getting free firewood, I'm, I'm just having a great day right now. That's it. Learn some skills here on YouTube. Watch the, watch the videos that are warning you about what's going on in the world, but don't end with those. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.